Streets of Forgotten Dreams Part 2, a CNL special. We ask so you may know. We feature so you may appreciate. We inform so you may decide. We balance so you may judge. CBRC Makati. Welcome to the latest branch of our Balita Review Center here in the middle of EDSA, along EDSA in Makati. Getting your PRC license is just one MRT ride away. Located at with these contact numbers. Enroll now! Sometimes life's challenges and the wrong decisions are the ones that mold a person's resilience to hardships. Oftentimes, it is the same toughness that leads to something deeper, something worth waking up in the morning, something that revives the inner hopes that we once had before the obstacles, something that keeps us living and dreaming once again. Like Manong Frederick, let us delve into his colorful life living in the streets of forgotten dreams. The streets of Maraita became Manong Frederick's home for more than two decades. Here, he discovered firsthand how playful life can be, as if every day is a quest for survival, especially if you have a family to feed. I have a grade 2 grade Okay. Kapi Gomez po. Oo, oh, may, may bahay ho kayong tinitirahan. Hindi, nangungupahan lang. Nangungupahan ko, nangungupahan kayo. Okay. Sa buhay nyo ngayon, anong pinakamahalagang bagay? Pag-aralin ng anak ko. Okay. Yan lang po. Makakatapos na yun. Makatapos siya. Ilang taon ho yung anak nyo? Seven po. Sana po, makabot pa ako na. Forty three na po. Uh -huh. an Bakit, an bata pa ng mga asawa ko. His love for his family became his daily strength to claw and fight through life. Little did he know that this simple purpose would eventually lead to another dream. Pag umigising kayo sa umaga, handang magtrabaho, handang harapin yung bagong araw, ano nasa isip nyo? Ano pumapasok sa isip nyo? Pagkain po, para sa kapapaw ng anak ko. Okay. Yun lang po. Para yung panggayos po talaga namin. Ano pa pangarap nyo tayo para sa buhay nyo, sa mag-asawa, sa inyong mag-asawa? Makatapos ng anak ko, sir. Okay na ako. Kahit mawala na ako sa mundo, sir. Para sa sarili mo, ano pang Wala na sir, yun lang. Makapaghanap buhay ako para maibigay ko sa pamilya ko pag sobra. Yun lang. Uh, naniniwala ka pa sa kinabukasan? Opo. Para sa anak ko. Para Hindi sa... na para sa akin. Of course, there are off days wherein Manong Frederick is hanging by a thread just to get by life's humor. But these are the ones that made him realize the more important things or persons in his life. Uh, Gano'n kahalaga yung gene? Mas mahalaga, mas mahalaga ang anak ko, oh, sir. Yes, mas mahalaga. Importante sa anak ko, yung mga sa anak ko. Wala ka na pag-uhugutan ng pangarap mga pwera sa pamilya. Para sa anak ko na lang, sir, ginagawa akong kailan. Man of Frederick's daughter, his life force, lives with her mother. His older child is currently detained in a prison here in Manila. That's why he decided to make things right by raising up Jerica Shane properly the way he would have wanted for himself. Paano mo pinapakita yung pagiging mabuting ama? At itsundo ko yan, sir. Tapos bawa niya na ako sumasagot. Kahit wala akong hanap buhay ng mga atin. Tawag-tawag lang ako, sir. Kukuha ko siya ng pambaho. Kasi atin ko na siya. Tapos susunduin ko sa hapon. Anong mensahe mo sa mga tatay na... Sana maging, maging mabuti sila rin ama sa anak. Kahit na nagbibay siya, giinom, paminsan-minsan lang. Pero unahin nila ang anak. Anak ang importante kasi... Pag nakatapos yan, kaya natutulong sa'yo, sir. Eh. Wala namang iba eh. Wala namang ibang tutulong. It has been said that we're not defined by the problems in life, but by how we face them. So the next time we see another man of Frederick on the streets, remember that they are also like us in a lot of ways. Like us, living our daily hustles, finding the strength to revive our dreams. We ask so you may know. We feature so you may appreciate. We inform so you may decide. We balance so you may judge. I'm Joyce Iranara and this is CBRC News Live. Good evening.